Hi, this is Christy Peterson with ChristyPetersonPhotography.com, and I have an Etsy shop, and its name is Fairy Photography, and I sell digital backgrounds and overlays and Photoshop templates and costumes for the fairy photographer. And this is a tutorial on my tips and tricks on how to do digital fairy wings. And I'm going to make a couple of these videos so that they're not too long. So first, I am going to show you where I get them. Go to obsidiandon.com and brushes and fantasy. And this is the fantasy page for brushes. I'm already here. And there's the fairy wing brushes right here. And the um, just plain wing brushes right here. Commercial licenses for these are $3. So it's totally affordable and easy to do. Um, you can also Google Photoshop fairy wing brushes and make sure you can use whatever you find commercially um, and you can find some wing brushes that way. So this is a I'm going to show you how I do the, this. Um, create a new layer because you always have to have your wings on a layer by themselves and each wing, the right and the left wing, needs to be on a layer of its own. Okay, so create a layer and then choose some wings. And I think I will just these ones and sample a color from the dress matter if you sample the color or choose the wing first. And then go lighter after you find your sample color. And then grab your ring brush again, or your paintbrush that has your wing selected. And just click it once to paint it on. And then I'm going to add a mask and control J to duplicate it. Um, if you want to make it darker, that's how you duplicate it, and then you would just do Control E to merge it down. Uh, the darkness of the wing I was fine with, so I duplicated it to make the other wing. I'm going to grab the Move tool and drag it to the other side. Okay. And then, to make them look realistic, we perspective on, you grab to edit, transform, distort, and grab this middle um, box here, and you can move it any way you feel that you need to make it look good. I always do it just a little bit up and a little bit back. And then edit, transform, distort. And this one, this shoulder is a little bit back further than the other one, so I'm going to move this one just a little bit back more and accept it. And then you grab the paintbrush again, change the brush to a soft circle, and select the mask. Select back a key to make it smaller. And I'm on the my left. I always do my right and left. And then I like to label the wing. Okay, so I'm on the left wing. And then you take it off places where you don't want it to be. And then you do the same to the other side. Sometimes when I have a see-through dress like this, or a gossamer part of the dress, I will take my brush and lower the opacity down, and just take off part of it. Actually, that's too strong. I want to go the other way. Okay. And that's it for that one. Pretty simple. Okay, this next one, I'm going to show you, I'm going to have the wings 
overlapping a little bit and share a little trick that I do to make them look realistic. Okay, I'm going to grab a um, color of the dress, go lighter, okay, grab my wing brush. I already created a new layer. Okay, stamp that on there. Oops, look, my opacity is still down. Okay, bring it back up. There we go. Okay, sometimes I like my wings just a little bit darker, but not that dark, and then I take this down to 50%, and then I do Control E, and that merges it together, but this picture doesn't need it. Okay, then I'm going to Control J to duplicate it, and this bottom one, I'm going to make the other wing for the other side. Edit, transform, and distort. And bring it over there. And OK. I'm going to put far wing and near wing. You want your wing, the near wing, to be on top in the layer order. I'm going to add the mask. OK, and then you do as you. As I did with the first one, you just mask it off. Okay, far wing, that one's selected. Okay. And I need to turn off the near wing just to make sure I get everything. Usually I would go in and get this pretty close and um, like fill in right in there. Oops. X would bring the light on top white on top so I can fix. And X again brings the black back on top. Okay, and then I'm going to do the near wing and take it off here. But I'm going to leave it right there because her hair would be in between the, the wings. Okay, now you can see here where there's some wings. The back wing shines through, shows through here and here. I want to fade it a little bit so that it looks like it is a back wing. And then, so I'm going to lower my brush. I'm going to select the far wing palette, um, palette mask, and, um, and I'm just going to paint over where it shows through there. And it just fades it just a little bit to make it look like it is a back wing. This, um, this picture here shows that I did the same thing. I like to fade that back wing by using the opacity. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. The next tutorial I'm going to show how to do wings laying down. Thanks for watching.